you can import data from Excel spreadsheet to an existing table. Access appends the data to the existing data. You can import all the data from a worksheet or define a named range that includes only the cells that you want to import. Access treats the data in the first row as field names during the import operation. If your source worksheet or named range does not include the names, add them to the source before you start the import operation. Open the table in design view in Access. Ensure that the names of each column exactly matches the name of the corresponding field in Excel. If the name of a column in Excel is different from the name of the corresponding field in the table, the import operation will fail. Open Excel and open the worksheet. Select the range of the cells that you want to import. Right click within the selected range and then click on define name. In the new name dialog box, specify a name for the range in the name box and click on OK. If the worksheet or named range contains blank cells, try to add the missing data. If not, ensure that the corresponding field in the table accepts null values. Zip field's data type is integer. You can see some rows contain alphanumeric data. Let's see how Access handles invalid data. On the external data tab in the import and link group, click on new data source. Select from file and then Excel from the shortcut menu. The get external data Excel spreadsheet wizard opens. In the file name text box, type the name of the source Excel file or click on browse to display the file open dialog box. Browse to the location and select the source Excel file. Click on open. Select append a copy of the records to the table and select a table from the drop down list. Click on OK. The import spreadsheet wizard starts and leads you through the import process. Click on show worksheets for a list of worksheets. Click on show named ranges for a list of named ranges. You can import only one worksheet or named range at a time during an import operation. Select either the worksheet or the named range that you want to import and then click on next. Click on next. Click on finish. If access is unable to import all the data to the table, an error prompt is displayed showing the error details. Since Excel worksheet has some invalid data in the zip field in two records, access says the contents of the fields in those two records was deleted. Access prompts, do you want to proceed anyway? Click on no to cancel the import. Click on S to proceed. Save import steps dialog box opens. You can save the details of the operation for future use as a specification. Open the destination table in datasheet view. You can see in the zip field where there was invalid data, the value is null. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.